Greetings to all and welcome to this uh, very short video that will be the last part of our presentation on authentication and authorization in uh, Oracle Apex. So in this video, we'll just do a demo of what happens after we have set up our authorization and uh, authentication schemes. So we will run the app again using different users and you'll see that the menus will not be the same. The users will not only be authorized to use the menus that are relevant to their roles. So I'm going to run the app, clicking on run page one and you can now see i'm prompted to type my username and my password i'm starting with the username of the admin the password is being typed in this is the username of the admin which is now logged in and you can see indeed is only presented with one menu. The menu for that means to create courses, retrieve courses, modify courses, or retrieve lecturers. This is the admin who is logged in. If I now log out and try to log in again, as a different type of user. For example, let us log in as Zukisa. Zukisa was a student. Remember the password of Zukisa. Let me type it in. I have now typed in the password of Zukisa. After signing in, you can see Zukisa is a user, but Zukisa is only presented with the menu for students, which means Zukisa does not have any access to what can the admin do. As a student, Zukisa can go inside student to retrieve courses, also to retrieve the details of his or her lecturers or the details of the admin staff. That is all that Sukisa can do. If I log out, I'm no more Sukisa. Let me now log in as a, a lecturer. I think the lecturer was Prof. This was a lecturer. I'm going to log in as a lecturer now. The password of the lecturer was, I think this was a password, and I'm signing in as a lecturer. Can we sign in? I'm not seeing any move. Let me enter. Okay, I've logged in as a lecturer. Yes, and indeed, I'm only presented with the menu for lecturers, which is to retrieve my courses or to retrieve the details of other lecturers or update my details as a lecturer. And I can also go and retrieve the details of the admin staff. The last user that we can test is the other students. I think I remember we had another student whose username was std like student and i'm going to type the password of that student and from there we will see that this student is also only presented with the menus for students yes it is working the student is only presented with the menus for students. And this is the username of the students. 
So this allows you to make sure that only the authorized users have access to the right actions in your app. This is comes really in handy. Thank you very much. I think you have enjoyed the presentation. Our final set of presentation will now end the whole presentations of uh, Oracle Apex, where we will see data pages. We thank you.